Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to share with you a haul video from Timu, AliExpress, and Amazon. So I kind of ordered them all at the same time, so I figured I might as well do a haul video on all of them. And it is for journaling, bullet journaling, and junk journaling. That's kind of what this is all for. Um, I've been slowly um, making a collection for just that and then it's going to be set aside specifically for that. So anyways, we're going to get into what all this is. So the first thing I thought of was storage and because most of it is flat except for the washi tape, I wanted to get something to put the stickers in that they could all kind of be contained. So I bought these envelopes. So these are from Timu and they have a Velcro Velcro closure and they're like a poly bag or whatever so you can see through what's in it and I'll put labels on it too once once I have them filled. So those are going to be the envelopes and then I just have a uh, Dollarama basket here. I like these baskets because they're actually square. Um, they're not like, they don't have the angled sides, well at least they're not very, very angled, they're pretty square. So I bought the or I have this in my, I had this in my stash because they fit so many things. And these fit very nicely in here like this. So they just, they will go in here and that's where I will store all my stickers and um, flatter things. So then I also got some washi tapes and these are just basic colors. Um, last year when I was first starting doing my junk, or not junk, journaling, um, bullet journal, journaling, I can't speak today, um, I realized I have no basic colors of washi tape so I just kind of went and bought several different kinds. There was there were different sets that had like multicolors, and then there was like the basics that had just like one color in different shades. And so, so they came in a box like this. So basic pattern tape, and then it has like the colors swatches, and it's kind of like a matchbox thing here. So it's kind of nice that way if you want to keep them in their sets. I I will probably just put them in one of these. Um, containers. This one I'm using for fabric pieces that I'm doing a pixel quilt with. So, but once I'm done the pixel quilt, I think these are going to go into here, and that way all my basic ones are in here. And, but in the meantime, they can be in these these things. So yeah, like they're just there are some grid ones. There's at least one grid one in each each pack, which is kind of nice. I like the grid ones and I like that there's, I have some options for colors. And uh, and then the rest are just like a solid, I don't know what quality they are, I haven't used them yet. There's not a whole lot on a roll. So these ones are from AliExpress, but I have seen them on other other things. They're not super sticky, so we'll see how they, how they react. I don't like it when they're too sticky that you can't even get them off the, off the roll. So, so yeah, we'll we'll see how these go. And if not, I can use them as um, masking things on my paintings. <laughs> so those are the solid colored ones. And then we have our more decorative washi tapes. I mean, I probably don't have all the ones that I'd like to get yet as far as decorative ones go. I'd like to just get some some regular washi tapes that are maybe floral or or um, plaid like this one. So I have some PET washies and washi stickers and just plain washies. So um, some of these are stickers. So so ones like this, they're actually a sticker on a roll. Here we'll just move these up here see if we can roll this out. So each one of these is an actual sticker that you can peel off. So there's one, two, three, four, five designs before it repeats. No? Six designs before it repeats. So I like that. And there's a fair bit on here. 
These are really nice muted purples and greens. Very nice for vintage. And this is the same thing, only in oranges and yellows and pinks. more deeper pinks, oranges, and reds. I'm thinking I'm probably going to use these ones a lot. I'm just starting out with uh, bullet journaling and junk, junk journaling, so I'm not quite sure what I use on a regular basis. So, so I wanted to have some options because I hate working on something and it's like, oh, if only I had this. It might happen anyways, but I like to have some options, but I'm trying not to like overdo it, which I may have already. <laughs> so these are just the light pinks and corals. And then those are the, the wide stickers. And then we have some smaller ones with bigger flowers on them. So we've got sunflowers and these are each individual stickers as well. So the repeat, repeat is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are really, really nice. And then there's the yellow florals. And again, the repeat is seven. Nice for fall or late summer. And then we have a white rose. Very nice for a little bit more pastel -y layouts. And then I have this one, which is a washi, but it's kind of like an embossed washi. So I don't think. Yeah, it's not individual stickers, so you'll have to cut these ones out, but it does have a backing, so it's not it's not sticky, so you can actually work with it and fussy cut them out. They look like they're stickers because they have that glossy embossing on them. And this one has a repeat of one, two, or there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, ma seven major designs, and then of course the little ones. I'm looking forward to using it. I'm not a huge fan of fussy cutting, but but I think it'll look nice in the end, anyways. And then we have another more of a fall. And this one, I don't know if it's actually stickers or if it's um, this one. You have to cut out as well, but. These flowers were just so pretty. And it's a repeat of one, two, three, four large ones. But yeah, very, very pretty. This one doesn't have a cardboard center, so it's kind of <laughs> a little bit strange to work with. And this one was from uh, these these large stickers and these ones were all from Timu. All of the ones in here were from Timu. And I think these these both were as well. And then I have some other PET tapes. And these ones are not stickers, so I was kind of disappointed in that because the designs are quite tiny, but they are pretty. So you have different sets. Like, I guess you could use them as a set because there's obviously a line, but you could actually have this on the edge of a page or edge underneath a title or something. So there's quite a few on here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's a repeat of eight yeah. designs. They are nice, but like I said, you have to fussy cut them out. So, and then we have, I'm just going to remove this tape because I'm really not liking this tape on here. 
super sticky. That's been giving me some issues. All right, and then we have some pinks. This one's got like little curtains. I don't know. I will zoom in on these. Uh, and little, like if you were doing circle stuff, there's some designs that would work around circles. And then I have to get really good at, at uh, fussy cutting. I do have some, I have a knife pen that I haven't really used yet. Yeah, I do have this, this pen. It's actually a knife. And it works just like a pen, but it's got like a, I don't know if you can see, it's got kind of got like a Cricut blade or a die cut blade on there. It, I don't know if it swivels. It doesn't swivel, but I am going to give that a try, and I'm hoping that will work for for the um, those small little stickers. And that I also got at Timu at a different time. So then we have this Lily of the Valley one, and I'm just going to take the tape over there. So this one, I don't know if you can see it on there, but it's all like Lily of the Valley. And again, we've got like lots of circle, circle designs. So you could like have um, the month in there or, or something. Not sure exactly what I'm gonna use them for, but I'm sure inspiration will strike at some point. And, and then there was a purple one. So this one's got like lots of like lilacs and and uh, it upside down. Lots of different flowers. Looks like some hydrangeas and stuff. So and throughout the thing, I realized I have quite a bit of purple. So it's not my favorite color to use, but we will have to do something with purple for sure. And then from Amazon. I got some different washi tapes. So I've got these these marble looking ones. They've got some foiling on them. So I thought they were really nice if I wanted to add like like to have like more of an elegant um, theme. So we've got the pink, the teal, and the gray. And then I also got these super thin ones and I thought these would be great for outlining. So they are like super tiny. And I think I have, I think I swatched them all. Uh, I don't know if I'll swatch all the washi tapes, but this is a bullet journal that I had made. So I just kind of stuck all the swatches on the page here so there's quite a few different ones because they're so thin I can't see what the designs are unless they're laid out so I, I just made a swatch for that so and uh, if you want to learn how to make your own bullet journal I do have a video I'll link it in the description box below so this one I'm I haven't decorated I'm just using it like <laughs> just as a bullet point type journal but I did I did do some decorating in it so this is kind of where I started getting more creative I started putting boxes that I decorated Let's see I do have some things that I did decorate with stickers and so for like December I did kind of like this my main thing in a bullet journal is a task list so a task list <laughs> So that's kind of my main focus, but I have other things in here like projects that I want to finish and uh, games that I'm working on. So I've got all the quests kind of written, written on here, ideas for YouTube and stuff. There's a lot of pages still left in here because I wasn't very organized when I did it. And that's why I'm having a little bit of trouble starting my new one, which is the one that I made. This isn't the one that I had in the video. I had to make myself a new one because my daughter commandeered the last one. So yeah, I want to plan out exactly how I want this one to go. So the dots are a little bit darker on this one that I was kind of disappointed. Of. I had just downloaded it from Canva. And so since then I have adjusted the, the lightness of the the bullets in here so this is 
this is the one that I made. So if you're interested in learning how to make this one, that's the link in the description box. Anyways, so I had all those. And then last year while I was doing that Christmas one, I think I did okay because I just printed my own stickers and stuff, which I might do and have it on my, my blog or, or not my blog, my website at some point. Um, I didn't have any Christmas washi and I really wanted some. So, so I found this farmhouse washi tape. So there's um, quite a few. This is from Amazon. So there's like the buffalo plaid couple of different kinds. There's like a buffalo plaid with, I'll just lift this whole thing up. So we've got some gnomes, which I don't think I'll use that one. I'm not really into gnomes, but you never know. There's the farmhouse truck, the red truck with the Christmas tree in it on a gray and white buffalo plaid. And then the gray buffalo, or just a plaid. I think it's just a plaid. And a another plaid, a diagonal one. And then this one has little reindeer and uh, Santa hats and trees and stuff. And then this one just says Merry Christmas. And of course these are more of these little washi tapes that I was trying to just fit anywhere. So these are the cold ones. And they want to just fall over. And then there's the more traditional scotch plaid. And there's a, if we can get it out of here, yeah, there's the deer and the bears, and that is in buffalo plaid as well, on a white background. And then we have plaid trees with Merry Christmas on there, so, so it'd be nice to add that to a card too if you want to add that. So, so that was from Amazon. And those are all the washi tapes from this, this uh, haul. So next we have just the sheets of stickers. So we have, well this one is uh, cut out. These are kind of like a winter, what does it say? New Things collection. And then I have some eucalyptus, some ferns, uh, these are lavender, I believe, and then there's irises and rosemary and stuff. These are just like dried yellow flowers. We have daisies and then we have roses, and then I'll take them out of the package and you can see each one on their own. So here we have the rose one and it's just like all, there's a couple of bouquets and clusters but most of them are all individual roses that you can kind of tuck here and there. That's what I'm kind of thinking of doing is that I would tuck it under under images or, or whatever and, and just kind of make my own bouquets out of them. And then we have the daisies. I don't know if you can see that I'll probably maybe zoom up on them a little bit. But uh, there's all these different daisies and again there's some bouquets and clusters and then there's just the individual ones that you can you can uh, make your own layout of them or a bouquet or whatever you want to do. Uh, you could have like a string of them along the bottom of a page. And this pack had seven, the other one had six. And then we have the wildflower ones. So there's uh, some dried flowers and then some, some other yellow flowers. So I thought these would be nice in a fall um, theme. And then we have the ferns. And I love ferns and any kind of greenery adding those in again. I'm just going to tuck them behind other stickers or pictures, um, maybe underneath a title or, or along the side. And now we have the eucalyptus. So again, just adding greenery to, to different places in my journal. So again, there's six of those. 
Again, we have the lavender, more purple. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna have to really use a lot of purple. But purple is good for spring, to use in spring things. <laughs> more purple so we have the irises and lilies and uh, looks like we've got some bluebells and looks like rosemary to me it might be something totally different because there's an iris on this one my irises that are purple look like this one <laughs> so again there's six of these and these stickers are from Timu all of the stickers that I've shown so far are from Timu and now we're into the individual stickers. So this one was a greenery one, but it, as I was looking at it, it kind of has like a Christmassy theme to it because I did notice that there was some holly in here. But it also has butterflies and and spring stuff too. So so it's kind of little arrangements of greenery with the gold iridescent foil, which is really really pretty. So I did notice that there was two each uh, or two of each design so this one is called new things collection and this is the next flower sticker part um, <laughs> pack uh, it's with kind of coral flowers and uh, we've got some hibiscus kind of tropical a little bit tropical flowers uh, I'm not sure what all the flowers are, but, but very pinky, corally, peachy colors. And then we have the blue flowers, and again, there's like two of each in, in each pack, so it's nice to be able to have like two matching, two matching uh, stickers that you can use on the page. There's actually quite a few in here. And then we have yet another purple pack, but I mean this one's got more pinks and stuff in it, plus the gold foil kind of tones down some of the purpleness. For someone whose favorite color is not purple, I seem to have a lot of purple. Anyways, so yeah, there's a few fewer designs in this one, but there is there is two of each of the designs as well and uh, plenty enough for if you're going to um, do a couple of pages in that theme so there should be enough to to get your theme across and then we have kind of an orangey red kind of some some kind of lean on the coral side and some lean on the orange side and some are more on the red side so these are quite a bit bigger flowers and stuff that that you can use to make a good impact on your page. Now we're on to birds and butterflies. So this is a pack of birds, mostly hummingbirds. There's a few. So here we have the birds pack, or we're into birds and butterflies now. So I happen to love birds. I know that's not the case for everybody, but I birds just make me happy. They're, they're just... They always seem to be cheerful all the time. Even when they're aggressive, they seem to be cheerful to me. So I just love birds. And these this, these are all hummingbirds and in with various different flowers and nests and stuff. So then we have the peacocks. And I have two packages. This is the blue package. And I think these are just absolutely gorgeous. They've got some gold foil on them and then the colors are just beautiful. And then we have the purple pink teal version. I know there's more purple here, but but it looks really, really pretty. Um, there's there's lots of greens and teals in here too. The color combinations are really nice. And there's ten to a pack. And then I have a flamingo pack, which is very, very tropical. And the reason why I bought this was to put in this album that I'm working for uh, for when my husband and I went to Hawaii. So this is the album that I'm working on, and I've got kind of flamingos throughout throughout it. Um, I think in here, yeah, I've got some flamingos. 
and I haven't put pictures in here yet so that's the next step in this album is to to put the pictures in here but I thought on some of these these um, pages I could put some of these stickers on there so so something like something like that on there just to add a little bit more tropicalness to to the to the pages and the tags like on these tags so you can put maybe some flamingos on there too I think that would work great so yeah that's hopefully I'll finish this album this year <laughs> um, the actual album is finished but uh, but I still have to put all the pictures in there Now we're on to butterflies. So I just thought this pack was absolutely beautiful with the teal and green and little touches of orange. I like the color combination. So there's like floral moons and crescent moons and butterflies. Some of them have wings that are just completely floral and then the other side is regular. And yeah, these are absolutely gorgeous. So this is where I kind of held back and I didn't buy every color. <laughs> so they had several different colors in these. They think they had pink and then more blue, black, purple, of course, <laughs> and, and stuff. So these were, I'm, I'm excited to use these ones somewhere. And then we have these butterflies. Again, I didn't go too crazy with the butterflies because I do have butterflies in my stash, um, different stickers that I've gotten from the dollar store and other places. So I didn't go too crazy with the butterflies, but these were really pretty. They're almost like stained, they look like stained glass, but they're, they're iridescent and foil. So I really liked these ones more for a fantasy type page or theme. Next we have these little stickers. They're different window arches and um, it looks like clocks a little bit of steampunk stuff, but very fantasy oriented. And I'm not sure what I'm going to use these for, but I thought they would be nice in a corner with some like flowers around it, maybe maybe something to frame it, which we'll get to next after the papers are done. These are stickers, so they've got a sticky back on on them. Uh, feel, they feel like vinyl stickers, so they'll probably be waterproof and stuff. But I thought these were kind of nice for a fantasy theme. You could use those butterflies that I just showed you for these. And there's lots of different, there's some pastel ones. There's kind of like dark academ academia, or I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And then just kind of more fantasy whimsical. And then we have these papers, which I thought were really cool. Again, with kind of with the fantasy theme, I thought it would be a nice fall kind of theme. So it's kind of like that just before winter, just when the moon is really bright and the leaves have fallen, but some of the flowers are still out. Um, I'm not really into Halloween or anything. You could totally use that for Halloween, but this this reminds me a lot of the kind of art my son likes. He likes like more of this dark, dead, branches <laughs> kind of look misty um, nighttime look but I thought these would be good for if I wanted to make say a mini album or or you can use them for your cover page so so you would take your at the start of your month you would you would take one of these sheets and um, let's just say this one and you could do like your something around here and have like your 2024 or your day of the month. There are, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, so it doesn't quite cover a year, but but you could definitely use them if you wanted that more dark look to your journal and or even cards. <laughs> which gives me an idea. <laughs> so anyways, that is those papers. And they, they're thin papers, so they, they're not 
thick cardstock, so they're just regular paper. But they have kind of a matte finish. They almost feel um, chalky. But I don't mind that because they're very pretty. And then we have these papers that are all kind of lacy. And I have used these in the last junk journal video that I did. Um, I used some of these papers. Uh, I think they were kind of like out of this package. So this was a previous order, so they've got all the different ones there. And I like anything that's lace and vintage and, and anything to make it look old. So these are perfect for junk journals or, or your regular journal. You can And they tear easy because they're just like regular weight paper. So yeah, you could tear them and have one in each corner kind of thing for your theme. I'm getting excited to start my start my bullet journal. <laughs> but yeah, these are the different papers. And then we have our frames, and I'm really, really liking these frames. I've used some of the lighter color ones already um, that I bought a long time ago, and I just love them so much that I'm, I bought a whole bunch more. So these frames are really nice to decorate your page to kind of give it a really nice look. So what I was thinking is you could probably like layer up, which one did, did it work on, like this, kind of, you can add like your stickers and stuff to really dress up the, the frame. Some of these are already quite dressed up already, but some of them that aren't quite so colorful, you can add like a sticker onto there and just really dress them up. So the reason why I bought these is because I started following Erin Smith who does journals, bullet journals on YouTube. And she is right now, she's doing where she's actually painting little pictures. She's taking a, an art class that, uh, that she is using her practice ones in each one of the frames and then as you flip through her her journal then you it's like you're walking through an art gallery and it, I thought that was a really cool idea. I'm not sure if I'm going to do my do artwork in there. We'll see. I might. <laughs> I might as I'm certainly capable of doing it. It just takes more time and and I guess it depends on what my objective is in the end. Do I want it to take time or do I want it to be quick? So so anyways, that was kind of what she was doing and I thought that was a really good idea. So as I bought these and I was kind of playing around with them, then I was thinking of other things you could use them for. You could have your month in there and decorate it as your, your first page of the month kind of thing. All kinds of things you can do with these. And here is a set of more basic frames. Again, add your stickers to the sides or do whatever you want with them. And then we have some more ornate, kind of neutral colored frames and the oval frames. And then we have some more over the top <laughs> frames, more the, the gold frames. These would go really well with jewel tones and stuff if you were doing like a jewel toned theme. Or you could, you could stick with neutrals with these as well, more on the, the warmer side. And then we have windows. So these are all die cut windows. They kind of have a weird smell to them, so, so lots of chemicals in there. So I, I probably wouldn't buy these ones again. But they do look nice and I do have some ideas for them. So that is everything that I have in my haul and I'm going to show you how I'm organizing them in those envelopes just so you get an idea of maybe how how you could organize your supplies too just to make it easier to find and uh, yeah my plan is to use everything I have been a hoarder of supplies for so long that I've gone back to stuff and it's been like especially washi tapes, a lot of my washi tape that I collected years ago that I was saving for the perfect project, they've all, either they're, they're so stuck to the roll that I can't even get the washi tape off, or they have absolutely no stick at all anymore. So, so my plan is to use this stuff. So 
I'm, I don't want to hoard even though it looks like I just hoarded but no I do want to use it and not be afraid to use up something because we live in a world where there's more we don't have to be afraid of running out <laughs> and even if we do I have enough stuff in my craft room and we're all creative we can find ways to be creative when we don't have the supplies which many of you probably know so anyways uh, I'll show you how I organize them okay so I've put them all away into into the their folders I have quite a few blank ones but I want to save some of these for um, stickers that say like notes or dates and stuff like that like something that I'm gonna use a lot in my planner I just want a sticker for it but I haven't made I'm, I'm planning to make those so I haven't made any of those journal stickers yet in that sense and then I'm they're gonna go in these plus if I have like little scraps left over maybe they'll go like of um, torn papers if I take stuff from my stash that works for journals I might put them in there like like let's say like old books and like torn book pages and things like that I want to put in some of these envelopes as well and then I will eventually label them so so then I have I have my kind of pastel -y frames that are more shabby chic in this one and then here I have die cuts I am expecting a few more die cuts to come so these are just like or I should say laser cuts and then I have the darker frames so they didn't all fit in one envelope I didn't want to make them too bulky so I figured I would divide them between like the the darker colors more vintage vibe and then the more shabby chic Kind of look and then I have kind of all my lace papers in here like all the little vintage lace papers and then we have our windows and doors is going to go in here so we have some die cut win or laser cut windows there and then the ones that I just showed you here I've got fantasy papers and those stickers since they're kind of their own category and then we have the birds and butterflies in this one. That way I know where to find them if they're kind of all in a thing. So flowers are all in here and then greenery are in there in this one. And that's how I'm keeping it organized. Of course the washi tape will go in those bins because they don't fit in a nice flat thing unless I would want a lot of envelopes with <laughs> just one. Uh, layer of washi tape so I think they're better in a container like that and they can be organized by color theme and that kind of thing style and yeah so that is my haul and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, yeah I thank you for watching bye